You might want to know what we do in, when we're not banging nails. Uh, we have a game that we love to play, and it's called geocaching. A lot of people heard about it. We found it about three years ago. It's uh, one of the fastest growing sports in America. We use it with our GPS. We have two GPSs. We have a small handheld, and then we have this one for the car and the, and the streets. Uh, put in the coordinates of the caches around towns, and we go find these little treasures that are hidden all over the place. We put some in for Fort Town, Port Townsend here, and there, there were 113 of them within a 10-mile radius. So we picked our favorite ones, and we put them in, and every day after we finish working here, we take off and go find a couple of them. Uh, Saturday, we went on a long hike. Um, we went up to the furthermost northern point, which is the bay. Uh, what's the name of that bay? Anyway, we went on the beach, and we went into the forest, and we pushed a lot of bushes around, went under some trees, and we found this big ammunition box, and it was full of stuff. We traded some things, and we signed the log, and we got out of there real fast because we were afraid we might be disturbing some bears or raccoons or foxes. or It was a little bit scary. Of course, when we got out of there about an hour later, we were at a next cache, and we found out that we dropped our camera in the last cache hunt, and we had to go back. Retracing our steps, we did not find the camera, so it's still lost, which is sad, because I had all about three days of pictures from our habitat build on it, and we can't duplicate those. Anyway, the geocaching game is a lot of fun. It gets us out. It keeps us moving. We hike to them. We bike to them. We have even taken a kayak out to them. And uh, it's kind of an addictive thing. You, the more you do, the more you want to do. And you can do it when one day and not do it for a month, or you can do it every day. It just depends on how much you want to do. When we're at home, we have over 500 of them just in a 10-mile radius at our house. And we do a lot of that. So when our free time, we just go geocaching. It takes a lot of gadgets. Uh, the, you have to have a GPS. And uh, we also use a Palm Pilot, and that is downloaded with all the pages from the Internet. So if I can't find one, I look on the Palm Pilot, and it'll remind me of the story or the hints about that cache. Uh, I'm kind of a gadget junkie. I like uh, iPods. I like cameras. I have an air card for my computer. And electronics is a wonderful thing. I have a lot of technology. I have a really nice Kodak Easy Share, and it's easy to use. It has a docking station, so it's always charged. It takes beautiful pictures. And the camera that we lost was also a smaller Easy Share, and it shared the same dock. So my husband and I could both use the, the docking system, and that was great. So he's going to replace his lost camera with another Kodak Easy Share so we don't have to get new programs for the computer or anything. They have a great uh, photo uh, album also that we use online. And I have a Verizon um, phone and, you know, to keep in touch with the family and the friends and you just almost have to have that when you're on the road. I also have a Verizon Air card that goes into my computer and I can be online when Ken's driving down the road as long as there's a cell tower I can be online and do whatever I want on the internet while he's driving down the street kinda of makes it fun and I don't backseat drive so much because I'm busy on the internet while he's driving and uh, he uses all these gadgets also so we're we're pretty techy we, we like all that kinda of stuff We've had a good time here in Port Townsend. Uh, we've visited the downtown stores. We've shopped in all the little antique shops and eclectic stores. Got some vitamins at the nutrition store. I even got some molasses out of the uh, tap and bought that at the, uh, the health food store that they have down there. We visited the brewery one night, about nine of us, and we all had uh, sample trays. So they gave us ten little jiggers of different kinds of beers, and we tasted them all. And 
I drink all the light ones, and my husband drank all the dark ones. Uh, we visited all the little RV parks around to check out the other uh, places to park RVs. They're beautiful right on the, uh, the water. Uh, the drive around town is just beautiful. Every time you turn a corner, you just look out and see the mountains with snow on them and the distance and the beautiful green in between. There's no billboards or big signs or anything. We can tell that the smaller stores have been here in town and not the big conglomerates. So that's kind of nice for a change, especially from us coming from big cities. So we've really enjoyed our stay here. The churches have been wonderful to us as habitaters. There have about six churches that have given us breakfast and lunch every day, and it makes it so nice that we don't have to get up in the morning and cook or make a lunch. We know we're going to be provided with it. So that was a real perk for us uh, caravanners. Usually we have to provide most of our meals ourselves. So that was great. So we've really enjoyed being here, and uh, we feel like it's a place we'd like to come back to sometime. Maybe we'll even work here again. I've met the both homeowners that are going to take over these beautiful homes that we're building. Uh, they're girls with young families, and they are so excited about having these homes, their dream homes, and my husband and I feel like we've given them a part of it and that makes it all worthwhile for the hard work that we've put into it and we hope that they'll be happy here and they'll be good neighbors to each other because now they can be friends and we've enjoyed working with them and pounding nails with them I helped one of them build her uh, closet the way she wanted it she wants a lot of uh, hangers in there and things to put her things away and she's just so excited about getting this house finished she said she's just going to cry when she sees the the last door go up and and that makes us feel good and and uh makes it all worthwhile that we came so hopefully they'll be good citizens and and live in comfort and and uh, give back to the city some of the things that the city has helped give them and uh, that's about all from Sue Pace in Carlsbad, California. And maybe we'll see you down the road someday or at another Habitat build.